I've got breaking news for you this morning as a result of a message we had in from Andrew in Cambridge who's a keen follower of the channel and always an active contributor. Makes a few mistakes now and again but we'll, uh, we'll not hold that against them. There is a brand new cable standard coming in next year, BS12712 2024. It does apply to England and Wales for all residential properties. Uh, Scotland, as they do, they always like to plough a slightly different furrow up there. They're going to go down a, a different route, which we'll come back to later in the video. But you've had a sneak peek of this cable in the wild, Gary, haven't you? Yeah, under an NDA, I got to go out and see a whole house in the state being wired with this cable, and it was mentally refreshing to see it going in because of the features it's got. Yeah, and the first thing that people will notice compared to a standard BS6004 cable is that the earth wire in there is now fully insulated in this new cable. So those people on Instagram that love a little bit of baggy sleeve and are gonna be groaning because the earth is already covered in its PVC. But what else has happened to that earth? Uh, yeah, so they've, they've beefed it up, Gary. Okay. It's the same size as the live conductors. Okay, so I'm cheering now because that means no more adiabatic equation to work out whether you can carry that fault current. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you if you spot it here, I mean, you can see it here, there's the full fully insulated there. So yeah, none of that sleeving, and it is that full size. Now, the other thing, this white cable, doesn't yep. mean it's uh, the old ones. Used to, in the past, when you used to see white, you used to think DIY, didn't you? B and Q. <laughs> B and Q. It's actually because now all cables will have to be low smoke and fume, which I've had in Ireland for a while. But now, obviously, as we get more harmonised from our friends in Europe, who we still do speak to, uh, it's, it's now fine. It makes a difference, doesn't it, Gary? It does, and I was down at Don Class Cables, and I did that in a different video, and sneaky people might have just worked out what I was doing down there. We were actually doing it as part of the trial here. You could clearly see the grey stuff gives off that black dense smoke, but the non-halogen stuff, obviously, that we're now moving towards doesn't. Yeah, and obviously we're getting more uh, fire aware. Some of the subtle differences in the standard is we've become harmonised with Europe. In Europe, you can't get a one millimetre twin and earth, okay. and that's been rolled into this new standard, which I was a little bit disappointed on, because I think light and loads are going down, yeah. and yet now we've brought in the smallest cable you'll be able to get in this is a 1.5 millimetre squared. Yeah, but if you think about it and look at those conductors, strictly speaking, after we've had many conversations with people in higher positions than us, that all the conductors should be classed as live conductors. We know how much current is being carried by the protective conductor, hence the insulation. But of course, that raises the temperature of the conductors and therefore increases the conductor size, hence the one mil's gone. Yeah, and just to chip back to those baggy sleeving fans, just because it's a fully insulated earth wire, you can't sleeve it over with a different colour and use it as a phase conductor oh, right. uh, just put, put that one out there I can see people already start to think about that the other thing obviously one hand takes away another hand giveth back okay uh, there is now also a 25 millimeter squared twin and earth cable and that makes logical sense how many times have we opened up those meter cabinets and we've seen in there an isolator and switch because obviously the consumer unit fuse board distribution board whatever you want to call it is say in the middle of the property and obviously that cable we've seen long tails going out there can't be longer than three meters they're breaking those rules 16 millimeter squared twin and earth cables but now we've got the luxury of having 100 amp and the 25 mil yeah now obviously the other thing people think oh that extra wire it's going to add some additional uh, dimension to the cable now it might do in the 25 millimeter one because yeah. the one doesn't exist at the moment um, but when you look at the conventional cables you, you know you come we've got a six millimeter one here comparing it to the existing uh, BS6004 cable they are very uh, dimensionally similar and that's because the outer the insulation on the inner conductor is XLPE right. so it's always a little bit narrower actually so I think when you add that up across the cable it doesn't make a huge difference. But what I know you jumped straight into the comments, we've gone to XLP, that means we've raised the conductor's operating temperature to 90 degrees C from 70 before, which means obviously we can carry more current, but then of course the keen people, all those people in those electrical forums are gonna be saying the equipment that we're connecting to is not rated at 90, hence I think we've got a one year lag lead time, isn't it? Yeah, so that's gonna come in, yeah, obviously accessories, if there's no rating on there for the terminal temperature, you have to assume a 70 degree C. I think manufacturers are going to be increasingly rolling out a 90 degree C uh, conductor termination point on there. So again, that's coming in because obviously a lot of this cable ends up as we put more insulation into buildings, you're going to need higher conductive temperatures and that lets you, let's get, get around and up the cable size. But the other thing that we will struggle with uh, low smoke cable is obviously stripping it and we found it incredibly easy to strip with our uh, twin and earth strippers here with the Rick hack. They were very easy in order to strip it. And I found a 
little personal hack. When you take that uh, earth conductor on the low smoke, when you start rolling it with a pair of croppers, it actually is incredibly easy to strip, so that myth's gone. All right, so that's for people who don't like using automatic strippers, yep. but we were surprised how well it actually works. Yep. It's for those people who just like to rip the earth wire down the original, the older BS6004 twin and earth, this new one, yeah, big difference. And you found another installation advantage, Gary, didn't you? Yeah, so I'm here, we've got a new build here, so of course we're gonna be using that cable as part of the process here at Lionside Studios. Obviously, when you've, you, know, you have that little accident, don't you, maybe now and again you might catch it with a, a screw, a clip, a nail, the customer often does when they're buried in the wall, but now you've got two insulated conductors side by side, the earth and say the line or the neutral, you've got another chance of making sure the nail goes through and doesn't damage the insulation on say both of them, only damages one, whereas before we had a bare earth, didn't we? So oh, we had a fault. Well, that's good, yeah. That's that a top moment. And that can easily happen when you use new tools like this Milwaukee cable step. Absolutely, yeah. if you're a little bit clumsy. Yeah, a little bit of the rough installer can help you out there. Now, just for clarification, BS6004 will be withdrawn next year, so you'll only have to be able to use this new yep. low smoke and fuel with a fully insulated earth cable uh, from there. BS12 712 2024 comes in on the 1st of April 2024. So let's just repeat that there. The 1st of April 2024. But Scotland, Gary, obviously said at the start of the video, they're taking a different route. It doesn't apply up there. No, it doesn't. You can just see behind me, yeah, we've had it in shop the entire time. They've gone for a full mineral insulated in their domestic dwellings, removing low smoke altogether, which I think, again, some people always like to take it to another level, especially at this time of the year. Yeah, well, that's good news for those people who thought the industry has been dumbed down. MI is back.